Hey guys, Pipes, Plumbing, Filters and Fun here. This is a new channel, so if you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. What I have here is a cutaway of a reverse osmosis tank. This is a standard three gallon tank. And a lot of people ask me, what's inside that reverse osmosis tank? Well, essentially, what you have here is you have a bladder and a little air chamber in the bottom with a uh, valve right here, a little Schrader valve to fill it with air. Uh, usually seven pounds, seven to ten pounds when empty. But basically, even though the valve on top looks a little different, that's an old valve, they all work essentially the same. And the way they work is, water comes in the valve on the top, at the top, it drips into this chamber, this water chamber, now, normally, this bladder is filled with air and it is, sorry, it's uh, near the top of the tank. So as the water pressurizes the bladder, it slowly pushes down on this, this bladder. And the air pressure underneath it is where you get your pressure from. Now, the biggest problem with these tanks is a pinhole will appear in this bladder over time just, just from its flexing up and down and water will leak into the air chamber. Uh, this can cause it to rust out, this can cause you to lose pressure. Um, if the hole in the bladder is big enough, basically you have to replace the tank. Um, if you pick your tank up and it's really heavy and you can turn the valve on the top and you're not getting much uh, water pressure out of it, you can try repressurizing it, um, but if the pressure doesn't hold, you'll probably have to replace the tank. Um, if you can rock the tank back and forth when it's full and hear water sloshing around inside, that's not a good sign. That generally means that there's water underneath the bladder and it's time to replace the tank. Unfortunately, there's really no way to repair these um, once they go bad. But if the tank is light, you don't hear water sloshing around, uh, you need to check in other areas because that means it's not supplying uh, the reverse osmosis or whatever filter you've got hooked up to it isn't supplying the tank. Anyway, that's what it looks like inside. Maybe slightly different. This is an older, older tank, an older cutaway, but uh, they all work essentially the same. And they all have a similar type of bladder. Anyway, I'm going to be making more videos, so be sure and subscribe, and you guys have a great day. Pipes, plumbing, filters, and fun, with an emphasis on the fun. Take care. Talk to you later.